TikTok user Purdy Paranormal. Zach, the account owner, shares that he started experiencing unexplainable occurrences within his own home. Is there anyone there? If you dare, touch the antenna on the counter. There's a light next to it. I hear you tapping. I want to communicate. I have a few things set up for you to communicate with me. Show me that you're here. Hello, is anyone there? Zach successfully captures eerie sounds and the opening of a door in his kitchen through his security camera. However, a few days later, he records something even more intriguing. This time, the basement security camera captures a mysterious dark anomaly swiftly flying across the room. The question arises, was it a genuine shadow figure? The choice is yours to make wisely. There was once a place in Mexico known as the Disneyland of Latin America. Reino Marico, a small theme park, opened its doors in 1988 but closed down after a few years due to several fatal accidents that occurred within its premises. While it remains unclear if the accidents were the cause of the park's closure, many believe that the reported paranormal experiences shared by visitors played a role. The fact that the park was built on a cemetery adds to the eerie atmosphere especially for urban explorers who are intrigued yet disturbed by the abandoned statues left behind. One particular legend surrounds the haunted statue of Snow White, with reports of it being seen in different locations than where it was originally placed, almost as if it moves on its own. On one fateful night, a group of friends decides to visit the abandoned theme park, capturing something incredibly strange on their camera. Take a look at what they witnessed. Hey, güey, ese es el velador de. Velador, Hey, velador. aguanta, aguanta, espérate, hey. No te muevas. No mames, no te muevas, no te muevas ahí. Güey. Ese no es el velador, güey. No. No, 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 aguanta, aguanta, aguanta. Deja, enfoca, deja que mi cámara enfoque bien, deja que mi cámara enfoque bien. Deja que mi cámara enfoque bien, güey. Ese no es el velador. 
No digas perras mamadas, güey. No digas perras mamadas, güey. Perdón, perdón. Güey, fue aquí. No digas mamadas, güey. Mire. No digas mamadas, güey. No, 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 yo. No, 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 no. No, güey, no mames. ¿Qué fue eso, güey? No sé, no sé, no sé. No mames, güey. No, 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 no. ¿Crees que haya sido ella? Güey, nos estamos metiendo más adentro del más. Banda comparte. No mames, güey, no mames. Filled with an overwhelming sense of fear. The group spots what initially appears to be another person within the park. However, upon closer observation, they notice that this figure is wearing a dress and moving in an odd manner. As they proceed, they come across the statue of Snow White and make a startling realization. The dress worn by the figure matches the color of the statue's dress. Could it be possible that the so-called person they saw was actually the statue moving on its own? The group is inclined to believe so, but they ponder whether they truly witnessed the statue's autonomous movement or if there might be another explanation. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this intriguing occurrence. Tommy, from the YouTube channel Hamilton's Explorations, accompanied by his girlfriend, ventures into Lockport, home to the Cold Spring Cemetery. As they explore the cemetery grounds, their camera inadvertently captures something truly unsettling. I'm gonna look that up. Oh, really? Why do you put rocks on top of gray stone? I kind of feel that's like disrespectful. Here we go. Oh, and there's a hole. I'm gonna get a zoom shot inside. Hello. While walking through the nearby woods, Tommy and his girlfriend suddenly hear screams echoing in the distance. Surprisingly, Tommy remains unfazed by the unsettling sounds and presses on. Little did he know that he would soon capture something even more captivating on camera. Just seen some eyes stuck behind a tree. Over here, look, look over here. Look, look where I have the light right now. It's right behind the tree. My camera's trying to focus on it. You see it? 
their eye its eyes are like super nice. Oh, I wish I could see that. That's an eye. That one looks very good. They just duck down. A deer. Oh no, its eyes were like super close together. The ones, the deers that we seen, their eyes were a little bit like spaced out. As they proceed, the couple notices a pair of glowing eyes lurking behind a tree. Tommy's girlfriend suggests that it could be a deer, but the behavior of the eyes is peculiar. They dart behind the tree and eventually vanish. Undeterred, the couple continues their journey, unaware that they would inadvertently capture something else on their camera. This time, the camera captures something beyond a deer, a human-like silhouette swiftly hiding behind a tree. The dark figure remains unnoticed by Tommy as he continues walking. Now, the question arises, was it a genuine shadow figure captured on camera, or could it have been a potential stalker following them? The judgment is yours, as you decide the true nature of this mysterious encounter. Ryan, River Wyatt, and their tour guide Bill venture into the depths of the Collar's Mine only to realize that they are not the sole occupants of the eerie place. And uh, tonight's definitely going to be quite interesting. If you'd like to introduce yourself real quick. I'm Bill Finley. I'm the tour guide here at the mine. So yeah, we're going to do some of the investigation with Bill and get 30 minutes to ourselves there in the mine as well. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what goes on. So let's get into the mine. Now, if there is anybody here who would like to maybe have a conversation. We're gonna be here for a while. So please. Hi. Hi, that object right there that you're holding onto or near, maybe I can explain it a little bit better. If you can walk up to this metal rod right here, I'll demonstrate it. All you have to do is just get close to it. And then it'll show us that you are here. I'm going to stand back, give you some space. Maybe you can go walk up to that and show us that you are here and can hear us. Thank you. You don't have the heat, heat I don't, on, right? I don't know. I might. But if it was the heat, it continued to go off. Can you please hold on to that again? One more time. We just want to know if that was you. Thank you. What? That's not the heat. No, it can't be. Doesn't it make a different noise? Pretty sure it does, yeah. With paranormal activity already underway, Ryan decides to introduce additional paranormal devices into the mix, heightening the intensity of their exploration. Object, this other object. These ones detect your energy. What this one does is it will detect motion. So I'm gonna turn it on. This is gonna calibrate real quick. After that, I'm going to demonstrate and then it has nothing to do with us. So how this works is I'm gonna walk in front of it. I'm demonstrating what you can do here. So if you walk just like this, it'll start to make music like that. So please feel free if you walk right. Did you just do it? Can you please walk in front of that? Went off once. Head. Head. 
I demonstrated, and then it went once. That's not you, is it? No, that's not even facing. That cannot catch you. Might, might be my shadow. I do keep hearing, like, there's a gap right here behind me uh -huh. that goes into the shaft. I keep hearing, like, faint shuffling. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to... Whoa! That was a full one. Whoa, holy... <laughs> holy crap! I'm gonna set that down. That was a huge burst. That was a good one. Boom. Thank you so much. That's not even like near you. So that can't be you. What, wave your arm real quick. There you go. Did you walk in front of that? I'm trying to make sure it has nothing to do with Wyatt. So if you can show us one more time by making that go off, I'm just trying to make sure it wasn't him. There it goes. I hear you. Thank you so much. Do you guys think that like when we ask the question, it, it doesn't get to them right right away? I, I don't know. I mean, well, I asked. I said, "Hey, can you stand in front of that one more time?" They finally do it, and then they say, "I hear you." Still going. As multiple devices simultaneously go off it becomes unmistakably clear that some entity is attempting to establish communication. Intrigued by the phenomenon, they decide to place the music box device further down the tunnel, away from their group. To their astonishment, this strategic move leads to the reception of even more compelling evidence of paranormal activity. I just think maybe I can try and set the music box facing that way. I wonder if that would work. Like, like, down a little bit more. I'm gonna give it a shot. I respect you. I respect you. Okay, I moved it over here. So if there's anybody who'd like to approach us, come this way. That's gonna let us know that you're coming. I just... I just witnessed yeah. footsteps. It sounded like... Like that. I don't know if somebody's coming, so... Whoa, we just got the word lad. Like English people? Oh, yeah? You know how they say lad? Mm -hmm. It said, I respect you, lad. All right, a lot of the miners that were up here were from uh, Cornwall, England. No Whoa. way! Oh my yeah. god, You're bro. kidding! <laughs> That's so cool. Did you just hit that? No, I did Hit that, I'm, I'm far away from it. Music box, music box! <laughs> Dude, this is weird, bro. This is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and set this REM pod over there, see if we can maybe get somebody to walk by it as well, to kind of give us more of a confirmation that somebody is. That's somebody walking, I mean, <laughs> if it's something interfering with it, it'd continuously go off. Yeah. That's the thing. Like walking right past it? Uh-huh. I'm coming this way, if that's okay. Speak. Speak. Many deaths. Many deaths! Yes. Oh that is confirmation! God. Not too long ago, I don't know exactly how long ago, there were a couple people over here and they were doing what we were doing, trying to gather some information and, and speak with whoever is here. One of them had gotten so scared and started crying and they had to leave. Any of you know who that might have been? Who did that? Who caused that? Whoa! Oh, f that just scared the sh out of me, man. <laughs> Twin moment? Oh my <laughs> god, bro. <laughs> Holy crap! I was standing about 10 feet away from that Dude. thing. As they turn off the lights, plunging themselves into complete darkness within the mines, it becomes evident that something has been stirred up. The atmosphere becomes charged with heightened activity and mysterious occurrences. Going dark? Yep. You ready? Yeah. Negative. Negative. Is there anybody here with us working? Candles. Do you see these candles to light the way? There's yes. one on the wall right there. Can you not see? Oh shit. You turned the light off. I just, just had my light lights out, guys. <laughs> you want me to light a candle? Yes. Oh, that would be sweet. We're gonna give you some light here. 
Oh my god! No way! Look at that EMF meter! Wait, as soon as he lit them? Oh my god! That's what you wanted, huh? It's work time. You need to see. We apologize for that. Sit. Sit. Can I also point something out? The chirping over there, the music box. That's all done, right? It's all, it's all, it's they're not on. walking there anymore. Yeah, it's still on. Everything's still on over there. Why now? I don't know. Maybe I, I might have screwed that up by walking close to them. But then again, like, you know. Whoa! What? I think I just caught something behind me. A noise? No, a shadow moving. Ooh. Did I do that? Did I just do that? Please tell me I did that. What made that shadow? Oh, I might be freaking out for nothing, guys, but I... I don't know. I caught something behind me. It didn't make a shadow on my face. I don't know 100%. While filming himself, Ryan inadvertently captures a small dark shadow swiftly moving directly behind him. To his horror, this eerie black mass abruptly ascends, instilling panic within him. Despite his efforts to recreate the phenomenon by moving around and casting shadows, nothing comes close to replicating this unexplainable anomaly. As the investigation nears its end, they decide to offer any nearby spirits one final opportunity to communicate before concluding their exploration. We're just trying to give you the option, the chance, to say everything you can before we go. Because you probably don't get this a lot. You get this opportunity here to show us that you are with us. So, if you can complete the circuit in this flashlight, in this torch, by turning it on, that'll show us you are here. What the f***? Get the shit out of me, lights out. I'm not connected at all, I can't see anything, bro. Hey! Thank you so much! Lights went out. Don't be fearful. Don't be fearful. We're not scared. Thank you so much. We're not scared. I did panic a little bit. Thank you so much. Please turn it off. Just how you turned it on is the exact same. You're just turning it off. Prepare. Prepare for what? Guest. Guest. Prepare for guest. Are you expecting somebody? Or they're telling their workers about us. You were holding on to that flashlight, you started to turn it off, and now it's just completely on. Maybe, if you can hear me, if you have the energy, can you turn that off, please? The flashlight was completely on. No. no. What the f***? The flashlight was completely on, not flickering whatsoever. And then I asked, and they started to turn it off, and now it's back on. They might be trying. I, I see what you're doing. You can turn it off. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, so close. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. You're doing so good. Whoever this is, you can you help? Can you help? <gasps> They're struggling. Look, they stopped touching it. From a spirit manipulating the flashlight to a message that reads, Don't be fearful. It appears that the miners who tragically lost their lives are indeed communicating with the investigators. The evidence strongly suggests that the spirits are reaching out and making their presence known, providing a glimpse into the afterlife within the confines of the mine.